this is Ask James, where you ask me, James not something, and I use that as an excuse to make bad jokes and spread flawed logic. But hey, nobody's perfect, and because of that, you keep tuning in. I haven't done an Ask James for a while, and I was looking for an excuse to start it up again. One recent comment has been hanging out in the back of my mind, and it's really not a question, but I thought I would use it as an excuse to get this started again. First, we need to see the clip that inspired the comment from my video, Boredom Equals Creativity. Man cannot be creative if he is fighting to survive. If he's plowing the field, hunting for his food, paying the bills. You can't be creative if you can't afford the shirt on your back. Now, I just want to point out that I was acting and being overly dramatic to poke fun at myself. While I do believe in the overall theme of the video about the relationship between boredom and creativity and how our busy lifestyles are a hindrance to being imaginative, it's kind of a pretentious thing to talk about, and it takes a real pompous teabag to talk about it. But while I am willing to be that teabag, I will also make fun of myself at the same time. Hence the ending of the video. Boredom equals creativity. Seriously? You got me out of bed for this shit? Who do you think is going to watch this crap? I'm going to get a beer. Joey! JCount21 writes, I love you and your videos. My response, I love you loving my videos. But I have to disagree with you. You can't be creative if you can't afford the shirt on your back. I mean, there's a reason the term starving artist exists. A lot of the world's best art was made out of desperation or artists barely getting by. Many of the world's greatest artists did not become famous slash wealthy until after they died. Jay Comp, good point. Though I wasn't really referring to starving artists, like myself. Does anybody want to buy an original painting? What, you don't have an original painting of your own big head in your own basement? Uh, I was actually talking about the kind of third world busyness that comes from keeping yourself alive. Whereas the starving artist chooses to live on less to pursue his art, there are some poor people who don't have that choice. They are so focused on finding the next meal for them or their entire families that they don't have the time or energy to be creative. We live in a golden age of creativity that is supported by wealth and technology. Recent art history textbooks measure art movements in terms of years and decades, but ancient art was measured in centuries and millennia. Cavemen were too busy subsisting to create more than the occasional cave drawing. Mmm, eat, eat, woolly mama. While you personally may not feel very wealthy, society as a whole is as wealthy as it has ever been, which means parents can support the aspirations of their artistic children, and working spouses can be the foundations for the visionary work of their blood-sucking, money-grubbing, good-for-nothing partners. Hi, honey. On top of that, computers have given us great tools to create, and the internet allows us to promote our handiwork at a rate never imaginable in the past. Being an artist in this day and age may make you poor compared to other people in your social class, but it doesn't actually make you starve. So in conclusion, starving artist equals good. Starving person in India equals bad. Now that's it for today's episode of Ask James. I'm looking for a topic for my next episode, so please leave a comment or question down below. It could be something based on what I've said today, something personal, something about beer, or something completely random. It's up to you, but in the end, I'll decide. So make it good. I'm James Knott. Ask James. Peace.